Motor Week is made possible by rockauto.com. There's a popular adage that says there's nothing new under the sun. And when looking at the vast number of car, truck, and SUV combinations and offsprings, it does seem that we're reaching that point. But you know something? Thanks to constant buyer pressure for innovation and a lust to top the competition, automakers keep coming up with new variations on a theme to capture our attention. The latest of those comes from truck stalwart Chevrolet, and it's called the Avalanche. So let's see if the shadow it cast is new or not. Well, the shadow cast by the 2002 Chevrolet Avalanche may not be entirely new. It is, after all, just the latest crossover utility vehicle, and it is in large part based on the current Suburban. But to say Avalanche falls into the nothing new under the sun category would indicate one is blind. There are loads of details within the Avalanche shadow that are new, and to throw out another well-worn cliche, God is in the details, those details add up to make the Avalanche a mighty interesting and innovative vehicle. When the Avalanche concept burst upon the auto show circuit two seasons ago, there was no mistaking its heritage. Up front, the Avalanche quickly identifies itself as a member of the Chevy clan, with its large bow tie prominently displayed on the bright chrome bar that slashes horizontally across the boldest face we've seen on a GM pickup in decades. Fog lamps and tow hooks are well integrated into the massive one-piece bumper. Down the sides, the ruggedness continues with heavy-duty but stylish body cladding to protect the Avalanche during close encounters with parked cars and boulders. The Avalanche rides on the same 130-inch wheelbase as the Suburban, which means it's more maneuverable than the typical full-size extended and crew cab pickup. But it is at the chop down rear where the innovative details of the Avalanche start to grab your attention. A large lockable composite tailgate opens to access the steel bed, which can be enclosed with a hard three-piece cargo cover. Each panel can support 250 pounds and can easily be removed. Built-in corner bumper steps and grab handles aid in climbing into the bed. Moving forward along the tops of the cargo box are lockable storage areas. They hold about three and a half cubic feet of gear, and bottom drains allow the space to be used as coolers. But the Avalanche's trickiest feature is found at the front of the four foot wide bed. It's a midgate that forms the foundation of the Avalanche's convert a cab system. The midgate and split folding rear bench seat can be lowered to lengthen the five feet three inch bed to a full plywood friendly eight feet one inch long. For taller cargo, the rear glass can also be removed and stored in the midgate. The whole process takes less than a minute and can be easily handled by one person. This opens up the avalanche for a nearly endless combination of cargo hauling options. Indeed, the Convert-A-Cab system makes the avalanche the most versatile truck we've seen yet. But there's more. The first avalanche to hit the streets is a half-ton 1500 series in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Under the hood is the Burbs Vortec 5.3 liter V8 that pumps out 285 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. It feeds a four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive and tow haul mode. Towing capacity is 8,300 pounds. Under the front is GM's full-size truck independent torsion bar suspension, while the rear carries a five-link coil spring and live axle setup similar to Tahoe. Four-wheel vented disc with ABS are charged with bringing the Avalanche to a stop, with 12-inch rotors up front, 13-inch in the rear. Inside the dash structure, control layout, as well as the front and rear seating areas are pure suburban. That's to say there's gobs of comfort and room for five adults. Plus, fold all are part of the 6040 rear seat for more cargo flexibility. Two-wheel drive models can be equipped with a Z66 premium on-road package that includes 17-inch wheels, 16-inch or standard, a locking differential traction control, and a suspension calibrated for optimum on-road performance. Four-wheel drive models use GM's proven fully automatic auto track transfer case. They can be fitted with a Z71 premium off-road package that also includes 17-inch wheels, plus skid plates, a locking rear differential, and a beefy off-road suspension. For the hard-working man or woman, a heavy-duty 2500 series Avalanche will join the lineup later this year. 
Under its hood, you'll find a Vortec 8100 V8 that delivers 340 horsepower and a staggering 455 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a heavy-duty overdrive automatic transmission that also includes a tow haul mode. A north-faced edition Avalanche will also make its debut about the same time. This special trim package will feature North Face specific coloring inside and out and a pair of North Face day packs that hook on the front seat backs, among other things. And if that's not enough, there are plenty of specialized accessories available to trick out any model you choose. These range from brush guards and roof racks to tents and coolers. High versatility indeed. Avalanche pricing is well up there too. The two-wheel drive models start at $30,965. Fully equipped goes for $35,409. Base price on the 4x4 is $33,965, while a loaded 4x4 brings $38,409. No word yet on pricing for the 2500 series or North Face models. But add up all the details and the 2002 Chevrolet Avalanche is the first vehicle that lives up to the crossover hype. After all, its full-size rival, the Ford F-150 Super Crew, is little more than a crew cab pickup with a short cargo box. The Avalanche starts there and adds the kind of innovation needed to cast a long crossover shadow. In fact, Avalanche designers took to heart the advice given those who encounter an Avalanche of the snowy kind. Strive to stay on top or get buried. For the past few years, the big winners in the automotive marketplace have been trucks, SUVs, and the new breed of crossover vehicles. And they've been winners with us as well. But which ones are good enough to win a 2002 Motor Week Driver's Choice Award? Back in the days when you needed to haul lots of big, dirty stuff, you used a pickup truck. And that's simply all you used a light-duty truck for. But as the saying goes, that was then and this is now. And now more and more buyers are choosing spiffed up pickups as a daily driver. And our 2002 Driver's Choice winner for best pickup truck, the all-new Dodge Ram 1500, is a perfect example of why that's so. For one thing, it's wide array of configurations. You can select a full-size Ram with shorter, long cargo box, two-door regular cab or four-door quad cab, two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive models, and in trim from plain Jane to luxury. Ram also has a range of three available Magnum engines. A 215 horsepower 3.7 liter overhead cam V6, a 4.7 liter 235 horsepower overhead cam V8, and the venerable 5.9 liter 245 horsepower pushrod V8. A big draw for the Ram is its handsome muscular styling. The latest Ram continues the big rig look it started in 1994 with an even larger, bolder, if smoother look. Both quad and regular cab models have gained three inches of interior space. On quad cab models, this increase in cab length allowed Ram designers to forsake the rear clamshell doors for a crew cab style front hinge setup. In addition to more room, designers paid a lot of attention to the personal use side of trucking. Comfort features like CD stereos and cushy seats abound. And with a new frame and suspension underneath, Ram has the best ride of any pickup. What more could you ask for from a truck and it'd still be a truck? But not everyone needs everything a pure truck can do. For them, there's no shortage of modern sport utility vehicles to choose from, large and small. One of the newest downsized faces in the crowd and our 2002 driver's choice pick for the best small sport utility vehicle is the Saturn View. Like most Saturn cars, the new View is built on a steel space frame and uses dent-resistant polymer body panels. But unlike its top import rivals, CRV and RAV4, the View offers two engine choices, a 143 horsepower 2.2 liter Ecotec four cylinder or a three liter 181 horsepower V6. And unlike any other SUV in its class or otherwise, the four cylinder View can be mated to a new stepless CVT transmission. The four also can be fitted with a five speed manual while the V6 sports a five speed automatic. With front or all-wheel drive, the View's fully independent suspension delivers a smooth car-like ride. And it's a good match for the View's interior that provides excellent comfort, logically well-placed controls, and a flat floor in the rear seat. Available are head curtain airbags and the OnStar emergency locator system. It's truly a new View on the compact sport utility class. 
But for those looking for a bigger perspective on the sport ute spectrum, we offer our Motor Week 2002 Driver's Choice Best Family Sport Utility winners, the all-new Ford Explorer and Mercury Mountaineer. This go-around, the top-selling Explorer and the decidedly import-oriented Mountaineer get a freshened look. And it's a look that we found is not only pleasing to the eye, but innovative as well. A first-time independent rear suspension allowed Ford engineers to lower the load floor height almost 7 inches, enhancing both its utility and stability. And the wider cabin offers a redesigned dash, power adjustable pedals, a first-time available third row seat, and side curtain airbags with rollover protection, all in a package no longer than its predecessor. Another Explorer Mountaineer first is the available 240 horsepower 4.6 liter V8. A 4 liter 210 horsepower V6 is the standard offering as is a 5 speed automatic transmission. Four wheel drive explorers now get a push button control track system while 4x4 Mountaineers come with full time all wheel drive. There's a lot of firsts for Explorer and Mountaineer and we think they're bound to keep America's favorite family sport utes at the front of the pack. But the newest term to the automotive utility lexicon is crossover vehicles. A crossover is a vehicle that bridges the gap between pickups and SUVs or SUVs and cars with a little minivan thrown in for taste. While that may sound confusing, we think the first crossover design to properly define the term are our best crossover vehicle picks for 2002, the Chevrolet Avalanche and Cadillac Escalade EXT. What makes the Avalanche and EXT so unique is their innovative Convert-A-Cab system. With its folding mid-gate and removable rear glass, the molded 5-foot 3-inch bed can be lengthened to 8 feet 1 inch. The cargo bed can also be completely secured with a hard 3-piece cargo cover and lockable tailgate. Plus, side saddle compartments make great small storage wells and double as coolers. There's plenty of power to cross over too. Avalanche 1500 goes with a 5.3 liter 285 horsepower V8, while the 2500 bumps to the 8.1 liter V8 with 340 horsepower for a 12,000 pound towing capacity. Meanwhile, the Escalade EXT can pull 8,000 pounds with its low friction 345 horsepower 6 liter V8. Both vehicles are based on the Suburban, so don't be surprised if the roomy, comfortable, and well-equipped interior is familiar. Although the EXT loads up with extras like OnStar and rear parking assist. Avalanche is available in rear or four-wheel drive with low range, while EXT is all-wheel drive only. But in any form, think of this duo as the automotive equivalent of the Leatherman multi-purpose tool. Indeed, the single-purpose truck or car is fast fading into history. Even the most basic transportation must now wear many faces. Our multi-pronged winners for 2002 clearly indicate this route is more than a fad.